When a person converts to Islam or reverts to Islam, we make them utter the shahada, we make them say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. I bear witness there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. They say it by tongue. They should be believing it by their heart. When they believe it by the heart, they are called a mu'min, iman. Notice when you say the pillars of Islam, people mention the five pillars. These five pillars they are easy to see because they are more actions. So you have your utterance of the shahada, you have your five daily prayers, you have your zakah, you have your psalm or fasting, people can see you're giving charity, people can see you're abstaining from food and people can see that you've gone for hajj. These are things that people can see. That's Islam. Islam to submit to Allah. You've submitted physically, but has your heart submitted to Allah? For iman, when we say what are the pillars of iman, we mention six things. What are they? Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wal yawm al akhir wal qadar khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala wal ba'th wal ba'th ba'd al maut. There are actually seven things but six points. Let's go through them. I believe in Allah. So whatever you said in terms of your shahada when you reverted to Islam, now you are declaring that I believe it in my heart. Allah knows the condition of your heart. I believe Allah is the maker, the nourisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, the curer, the one in whose hands lies control of every aspect of existence, the giver of life and the one who takes life away. The one who has control over who's going to go to paradise and who's not going to go into Jannah al firdaus May Allah grant us Jannah without reckoning. Say Ameen. My beloved sisters, we believe in Allah. That's what we say, Aman to Billah. Then we believe in the angels. And we believe in the previous books. We believe in all the prophets. All of them, we believe in them. We believe in the last day, that is the day of Qiyamah. And in fact, when we say, well, ba'ath, ba'd al maut, it's connected to the last day because resurrection and the final day are connected. So we'll count that as one point. But then there is a certain point that we believe in that is probably one of the most challenging. What is it? Well, qadr, khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala. Fate, decree, destiny, good and bad, is from Allah. I declare that, I believe that, I surrender to it and I am happy with it. That is when you're a true mu'mina. You're a believer, believing female, mu'mina. And a mu'min, believing male. When you believe that what Allah does is the best, the best. There couldn't have been anything better. So you might say, but... It was so bad. How he passed away was so bad. How she passed on was so bad. How could you say it was the best thing? Well, it could have been worse. That statement is the statement of a believer. It could have been worse. I know of people who go through so much of hardship that there are others who go through less, but they're finding it difficult to go through. Yet some go through much more and they're still saying, Alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal. Praise be to Allah upon all conditions. Do you know on the day of judgment, a caller will call before the reckoning of everybody. A caller will call by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَيْنَ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا يَحْمَدُونَ اللَّهَ فِي السَّرَّاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ Where are those who used to thank Allah or praise Allah? Alhamdulillah means all praise is due to Allah. Where are those who used to praise Allah during times of difficulty and times of ease. All conditions, they used to praise Allah. So a group will get up, may Allah make us from amongst them. They will be taken through their hisab. Everything will be done for them and they will be granted entry into paradise among the first group and then the rest of the reckoning will start. Did you ever know that? 